Not even an hour before we hopped on the air here today on YouTube, we learned that Paul Rubens, who we didn't even know was sick, has been privately battling cancer for years now and dies at the age of 70. Man, I tell you, Pee Wee Herman was an awfully big part of my childhood. He was a big part of my childhood, but it started with me realizing that Pee Wee was originally created by Paul Rubens, not for kids, because my family, we, we were early adapters to HBO. My dad was in the cable business, and... We had HBO in a cable box before like any other house on our block had one. And one of the things HBO used to really show was Pee Wee Herman's, I won't call it a one-man show because Phil Hartman and some other members of, I believe that's where the Groundlings were founded, the comedy troupe in Los Angeles, but Jan Hooks was a part of it. Um, and uh, Pee Wee Herman was a very much for adults comedy character when he was a comedian on the Sunset Strip. That obviously was co-opted to a wildly successful Saturday morning show, Pee Wee's Playhouse, that was turned into what, what several feature films, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Big Top Pee Wee. I think there's, is there another, there's a third Pee Wee out there. I was, I was out by the time the third one, I believe rolled around, but uh, Pee Wee Herman was in old Cheech and Chong movies. You don't get a lot of kids characters from old Cheech and Chong movies. So his career obviously pivoted from what he thought it was to what it became. And he had great success with what it became. Very sad to hear about the passing of Pee Wee Herman. I freaking love Pee Wee Herman. To you, Pee Wee, salute. Paging Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman, you've got a phone call at the front desk. <laughs> I don't know. I always remember that that from the very end where they overdub his voice in the movie. He gets his own cameo where he's playing the desk clerk. Paging Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman, you have a phone call at the front desk. Rest in peace, Pee-wee. There were a lot of Pee-wee jokes there for a minute. What was his favorite team? His two favorite baseball team teams were the Yankees and the Expos. Oh, boy. Again, masturbating in public. That's a choice. And the, it, the day the first VHS tape player was invented, if you still were comfortable going to masturbate in public, that was, that was a bold move. We got a Furious Styles call out here. I know that that is directly related to the fact that Lawrence Fishburne played Cowboy Curtis in the Pee Wee Playhouse show. Thank you, RIP Cougar Rebel. Man. Yeah, do you remember? Uh, yeah, it laughed so hard when you discovered there wasn't a basement in the Alamo. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. 